Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. <laughs> wow. Wow. Our news, to hey, I'm, I've got news. a question. Go ahead. Uh, oh, our newscasters... Are newscasters still with the papers or have they gone iPad yet? I mean, I haven't watched the news. In still like with the papers. Fl- oh, and their phone. Really? Yeah. 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 They'll have their really? phone up there a couple of times, too. Yeah. Like two different phones. And it's it's awkward wow. to watch somebody else on their phone because you see that enough in real life with your friends. Yeah. Uh, wow. By That's the way, weird. at the top of the show, if you're wondering why uh, Jared and I are both sick. Ugh. Because the coronavirus has hits. San Antonio and North Carolina and we're we're pretty positive, aren't we, Jared, that it's me and you who have coronavirus? Uh, you know, I'm on I I'm probably more at chance. Okay. Um Cause you because, have animals you know, and shit. Well, it's not it's not that. It's my 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 girlfriend is actually working on Lackland Air Force Base and like she is within like ten feet Jeez. of where they are. <laughs> I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, go ahead, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and stop you right there because it was a word you said that really stopped Jesse and I in our. Tracks I'm just, here. I'm just using, I'm just using, I'm just using, you know, to yeah, speed like, things up. It, this, this girl I know, sure, yeah, like, sure, like, sure, she, sure. She, she spends time, you yes. know, yeah, 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 she's been a friend. Yes, like, uh, she's great. My yeah, yeah. girlfriend. Yes. No, 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 yes. no, no, girl no, that's no, a friend. Because yeah, 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 yeah. we're like, still like, on the hunt. Yes, for him. Yes. We're still taking applications. We're still doing interviews. I've heard you guys have a you guys have a lead. We yes, do. Oh we yeah, do. yeah, yeah. We we do. I but... mean, I that was leaked to me because Oh, was it? Yeah, your cohort, you know, can't keep secrets and she was sure. too excited about it. Yeah. Anyway, this person I know has been near the quarantine, like mm. to where she can see them walking, doing their got outside it. time. Got it, got it, got it, got it. Mm-mm. Yeah. Mm-mm. So Mm-mm. technically, if the wind's right, it blows into her, you know, because she's 100 feet away. Got okay. It. And yeah. then, you know, her and I go out for platonic walks to watch the ducks at the river. Sure. Oh, and then there you uh, go. The it's wind, the ducks, yeah, the I think. Wind, the wind blows into me and boom. Well, Corona. look, let, let's let's start with that. That's our top story. Uh, since you have direct knowledge to it, how how bad is it? If you have if you have info from inside the base, how bad is this thing, or is this is the media overblowing this this shit? The media is overblowing it. It doesn't matter. Like like uh, if you look at it on a scale, mm-hmm. like 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 it's it doesn't even register. Like I want to say like. As far as the uh, there's there's a, um, like a the virus or, or disease, yeah, there's a scale of like how how contagious, how how crazy it is, and how it, it doesn't even break how, yeah. twenty. Like I think it sits at eighteen. Yeah. Whereas like others, other basic things are in the eighties. So again, like, but also, have you seen? It's it's been pointed out. There's always been a virus you know, fabricated virus scare during every election year. Now, is no. that true? Yeah. What was the last one? Was it let me, bird let me flu or something? Yeah. Ebola? It was Ebola. Okay, I remember... I remember, I remember swine Ebola. Swine flu? Oh, swine flu Remember was huge. swine yeah. flu? People were fucking pigs. It was a bunch of... Pi- I think the real point of all this is that people are fucking disgusting. Yeah. Right? Yeah. All the yeah. tips and tricks are to wash your hands. Yeah. And don't touch other people. Don't touch other people. Don't touch everything and touch your yeah. face. It's really basic stuff that um, you should kind of know. Wipe back to front, you know. Yeah. 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 Jared, um, Jared, do you wipe? Sneeze into your hand. Wipe it on someone else. You know, things hey, I'm like fine. this. I'm fine. No, you're dying, Jared. You guys so are like, am I. You guys are like vegans. It's sort of like, what do you uh, mean? well, you just like, you will not stop talking okay, so about how go. you're sick. In 2004, it was SARS. In 2008, it was Avian. In 2010, it was swine. 2012, it was MERS. 2014, it was Ebola. 2016, it was Zika. Ah, back Zika. In 2018, I love Zika. We went back to Ebola in 2018. You know, mm. remember how big a deal they made that for like four days, and then all of a sudden it was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, my favorite though 
was swine. I'd have to say. Yeah, there was a bunch. It was so a weird. Bunch of people fucking pigs that year. Yeah, and I was very confused. Yeah, those it was pig a fuckers. confusing. Confused. It was a confusing <laughs> one. Swine yeah. flu. You're like what? Okay. Uh, how? Yeah. Well, it was, it was a mean, lot going on with swine flu. I you have to you have to you have to look at it this way. Like let's look at this from just a a standpoint. A majority, if not all the media, completely makes their bias left, right? Yes. They're super biased. 100%. Like, like, and, and again, like, that's not always been, like, if you, if you go back historically, dude, CNN went after the Clintons hard when he was in office. Oh, yeah. So oh, it's like, everybody this did. is, this is a balance. You know what I mean? It's like, okay, it's, it's, and it's for entertainment and for ratings and for numbers. So we've just, the, the impeachment was botched. That yep. is what everybody talked about for close to fucking 90 days, right? No longer than that. And then, I, that, and it then it, and like then six it, months, it yeah. comes to a screeching halt. Yep. Like, oh shit. We have not. We can't. We can't continue this anymore because it just folded. the The Democratic debates are such a mess. Yep. You can't even pick much out of there because it's just a bunch of idiots arguing over who could be more idiotic. So, what do you do as a news agency, as a media company, across the line? Like, how do you fill a couple weeks with with you know? Breaking, breaking news, breaking. breaking news. You know, I mean, yeah. and then look at, I mean, seriously, go back and analyze every single week of the impeachment process. Bombshell drop today. Yeah. Bombshell. Oh my God. Break. Oh, this is the landslide. They, they elevated everything only to be withered away. <laughs> so yeah, we get we get we get a couple Chinamen board an airplane and come to the U.S. with the flu and it's like fuck. Let's give it a name. Let's give it a logo and let's fucking freak out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And they know that people aren't really, you know, they don't really love Asians anyways. Like, so it's like let's make it an Asian thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. But also, recently within within the last six months. They had a giant scare to you guys about a fucking hurricane that was going to hit you. Oh, I yeah, remember yeah, that. And then it showed. Right. Yeah, they had a they had a name for it. it this is going to be the biggest that we've ever seen. Yep. Like this is worse than last year's. And then it shows up, and it's like a little bit of rain. It's nothing. Yeah, it's nothing. nothing. Yeah. Well, I will say this uh, as anchors, important news journalists. Oh, sure. We are not afraid of of this disease that is truth ravaging the nation. I am flying to San Antonio on Saturday. Mm -hmm. Jesse, you are flying to Los Angeles. Mm -hmm. We're in the belly of the beast, coronavirus. We're in wise, the belly of the beast. Care. I've never really cared about elderly, I mean, the elderly, um, or tiny, tiny babies. So you know, if that's what happens. That's, That's what, what was meant to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And especially well, these fuckers that love going to fucking Korea and shit. <laughs> <laughs> well, here, here's a prime example, though, is let's take this as a, as a learning experience because this is how fucking stupid people are. Is you had the woman out here that was awaiting her test results if she had the virus. And let's just pretend sure. this is a real deadly virus. Sure. They let her go. Uh -huh. And she, where does she go? The mall to yeah. get Chick-fil-A. You are <laughs> pending. You're fucking pending virus yeah, test yeah, results. Yeah, 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 yeah. And all of a sudden it's, I need to go to the mall for Chick-fil-A. Fuck you. I think it's basically. You're, a f you're right. You're right. We're you're just fucking weeding moron. out. You're a fucking moron. Like, that lady should be executed. I mean, and I don't disagree. Yeah, well, I I, I, I do. don't disagree. The thing in Washington State, it was someone that traveled from Korea. Hang, like, hang on, though. Why? Have you ever had a hankering for Chick-fil-A so bad that no disease would stop you from going? I've never been so stupid that I wouldn't well, use well, guess Postmates. What? There's, there's drive throughs <laughs> between drive where she was. Postmates. There's at least you have to walk through the whole mall. Like, you are pending 
the test results of what's supposed to be a deadly sure. virus. Sure. And your fucking first thing to do is go to the mall. Mall. Fuck you. Touch your whole the family. Handles, roll them up. Cough like, on the kids. Get them out of here. Yeah. That human doesn't need to exist among us. <laughs> And I agree. Yeah. yeah. I agree. Because you have, you, have no, oh. you have no fucking thought for big picture at all at that point. It's like, okay, Ooh. we don't need you. And like, why that woman are you, just needs to disappear. Why aren't they testing people? Like, if you fly from Korea, why don't they test you and keep you? Do you know what I mean? Keep you there. I don't know. Yeah. Well, if you're flying from I mean, Korea you're to right Seattle. Here, and this is, this is exactly what I'm saying. If this was a real virus that sure. could spread through the air and be deadly, we're seeing how fucked. You, you, you can't oh, trust the government. Real, you can't trust real? officials. Yeah. yeah. Because it's like, oh, well, we can't stop people from vacationing to China and Korea. Yeah, we can. You fucking it's can. Called, it's called, it, guess what? People don't have private airliners. Stop flying. How yeah. about that? Yeah. Oh, well, sorry. It's called There's travel no tickets. restrictions. Like they haven't even even begun to even do the tiniest bit of it. They ask. Oh my god! It's they so ask dumb. a couple and questions as they come back in, and that's it. There is no restriction oh, I saw on an air travel. Interview, like a woman, like oh, we've been waiting for this vacation for so long. Yeah, and fuck now you. Saying we might not. It's like I don't give a shit about your vacation. Yeah. Did you hear the thing about the deadly virus? Yeah. And then you're the Take same your vacation family and shove it up your ass, like. <laughs> that's the same family that's going to be pissed that their their own grandma died. I there was nothing elected, that they did like, for us. I want to be elected president just so I can start deporting. Like that's what I want to do. When it, when when we face stupid people like this, like the woman that is pending disease results, going to the mall, it's like okay, I'm scooping everyone up that has genes shared with you, and we're getting you out of the country because you're you're done. And I love I don't that. Care where you go. Somebody else did that. Who was what like was his you, name? Trump. Yes. No. If he, <laughs> he was. It was a long I'm just kicking time him out. ago. Germany, I'm just kicking him like... out. <laughs> no, no, that is not it. I'm just Look, kicking him out. You have to treat it like this, and Jesse. I get it. Treat treat society like we all live in a 100 person you know community in the middle of the woods. Like like when someone does something fucked up, just send them on their way. Yeah. You know what? We yeah. don't, we don't, there's, there's certain things that we don't have to punish, you know, like uh -huh. internally, whereas, you know, we're going to like hold a, a hanging or an execution or something like that. Sure. But there are things that it's like, Hey, we don't need you. Just like, yeah. you know, we, I've been saying I have the, I have the cure for or the, or the, the, the fix for the, the immigration argument and the, and the homeless thing. Ooh. It's round, round them all up, all the, all the homeless up. Ask him a question. There it mm, is. Mm, Do mm. you want to work? If the answer is no, one for one swap. Hey, you want to immigrate to the U.S.? Do you want to work? Yep. All right. Sweet. Boom. And one I out, like one it. in. Hey. And then what do we do? So we the send them. We send them back to whatever Mexico. Mexico? Know where they go? They just they, no. They just it's it's whatever, whatever direction you know. One well, for I'm just one saying, swap. if you're swapping, if you're swapping, you got to give one. So to are one. we killing? Oh, it, it depends. No, it depends which. It, you know, we go down the immigration waiting list. It's like, okay, this guy's from Guatemala. Do you want to work? Yes. Do you want to work? No. Okay, you're going to you're Guatemala. You're going to Guatemala. I and like it. Where okay, is the I homeless like it. person going to Guatemala? Gu Guatemala. Okay, good. Yeah. To wherever. Where, wherever the immigrant, because they apply. They're like, hey, I, I like wanna, it. I want to yeah. immigrate to the U.S. We we just do a one for one swap. And I then guess like what? that. And we have a bunch of people that work. And and you know what? I'm saying this from experience. Living in Salt Lake City, one of one of the highest homeless populations, also the high the youngest age demographic of homeless people. You're talking twenty to thirty year olds that are living on the streets because they're lazy pieces yep. of shit. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Well, look, the, the only person uh, I'm gonna stand I'm a up for citizen. Yeah, the only person <laughs> I'm gonna stand up for in this whole conversation is uh again, the woman who wanted that spicy chicken sambo. Oh, from, get the uh, fuck out of Of course you would. No, guys, that is one of the finest sandwiches in the <laughs> world, and I understand yeah, why that, she yeah, did it. Like 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 uh, like she what if what if she was like, Oh, you know what, I'm pending my virus results and I, I, I don't have children yet, but I wanna go check out a school. 
Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's pretty oh, much. I was just there to, to look at a school for when I have. They it's do the same not thing. have. You know what? I really want to go to a rodeo. There. I want to. I want to go to a Beyonce concert. Like that's what. It, that's the first thing I'm going to do. Getting out of here. I'm just going to go to this Beyonce concert. Here's what's shocking to me. If anyone could understand instant hunger. It would be you. I'm surprised you have no sympathy for this woman. Because it's drive through and Postmates. The, the, yes. You have to look at where she was released, Lackland Air Force Base, where the North Star Mall is. How far That's is that? That's 15 miles. Ooh. <laughs> was, that the, was that the closest? 30, 30 chick fil a There is no, no way that's all. the closest. There's a Chick-fil-A. Within within yes. within ten feet of her leaving that base, there's a Chick Fil A. Like, yes, that woman is a piece of garbage. Yep. Well, I, firing yep. squad. Yep. Yep. I think like, everybody who's listening at home right now <laughs> understands the Chick Fil A drive through and how long that is. The mall uh, was probably her quickest They're option. They're the most efficient drive through on the fucking planet. On the face <laughs> of the planet, I have never and been the only ones so that amazed. Haven't figured out. I don't know. You know, I mean, the motherfucking D. DMV should be taking notes from a Chick Fil A drive thru <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> it's true. Actually, yeah. that's the most oh, efficient company insane. of all time. This is this is the this is the funniest thing I've ever. I've said I said <laughs> it's 2020 and we still can't figure out emergency rooms in the DMV. It's like Jesus Christ, I guys. Know. There, I know there isn't a consultant that can come in and go, "Wow, you're using 1980s technology in here. I'm, Take a paper number." I'm going to say <laughs> something though. I think the Chick Fil A employees are paid more than government employees. I'm just Maybe. saying. But anyway, um, and they got they get health benefits. So I'm going to yeah. run. I'm going to run for Congress on DMV reform. Uh, oh you'd, my you'd gosh, win. you would win in every state. Like, you'd win. Hey, you'd win yeah, in a second. Guess what? We're going, we're going, it's, it's, we're going to the Amazon prime one click, one click buy. renew your license, renew your registration. One click. Boom. We already have all your information. Yeah. Like I fucking jumped on the girl. Like she, I sit there when I sit down to get my license and, Oh, what's your name? Blah, 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 blah. 10 minutes later. Okay. So what's your name and address? I'm like, I just gave it to you. You don't have that in the system. Already. <laughs> like you guys somehow make this process so fucking long, like yeah. on purpose. DMV. Like, one click by. Am I right? That's it. Yeah. JT for Congress. Okay. So in Texas, and if I were one to, click by. If I were to ask you where you're going to get, like, where are you going to skim from to get that money? I'm sure you have an answer. Yeah. Uh, I mean, like, gotta, who are you going to sh- take money from to do that? You're, you're- you're gonna show. You got to show me the budget. I, I would probably tax churches, is what I would do. Beautiful, oh, tax love it. The fuck out of churches. There you go. Beautiful, yeah. love Any, it. And, and I would invoke get a, rid a of tax. that bullshit. Like, yeah. I would invoke a tax on any church that's over five thousand square feet. Like, I like it. Boom. O- you got a castle. Yo. You're getting fucked. Osteen's because getting fucking taxed. None of you. None of you motherfuckers can justify why you need a fucking castle. Thank you. For a church. Yeah. Thank you. Fuck off with that. Yeah. I would tax the fuck out of church. Love it. Osteen I love in, it. in Texas alone could, oh my could God. finance Osteen. 900 I would probably put a DMVs. bomb through the roof of that one. Yeah. Like, and that's, Kanye's I, I'd rather nipping do that. at his heels. Yeah. They're getting close. They're getting close. That's what happens when you start a religion. You're tax free. Everything uh, you do is tax free. Maybe you should yeah. hold off that on that, to, Jared. That and, needs to go away. That needs to go away. Yeah. Like, or we should just start a church. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. We can play the game. Hey. I yeah. mean, drinking bros could be a religion. I yeah. mean, is it, it would, not already? Make it the I coolest, feel like it is. We would make it the coolest religion because we would take all the cool things and get rid of all the dumb things. Yeah. And I love that explanation. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's like, dude, you can Very drink concise. on Sundays, which again, I still don't get that. You can we what? have an amendment that says separate church and state, yet we still cannot buy alcohol on Sundays. Interesting that, huh? Yeah. Get the fuck out of here with that. You still have dry counties. Fuck off with that. Yeah. Like, yeah. No. We'd be a cool this church, a, dude. Yeah, yeah dude, we would. Jared would be playing a coup. Yeah, A coup dude. guitar at the top yeah. of the thing. Only we 90s covers. Yeah. Our, you know, whatever it is that lacks gay marriage because we don't give a fuck. Yeah. Wasn't Because we're super cool. Creed. Creed was we super play a lot Christian. of Creed. You play a lot of Creed. Yep. We're the arms wide open. And it's I don't Jared. Know, I, never, I never understood I never understood the religious argument against gay marriage because the, the, the stop to that, you always could have been like, wait, who told Christians they own marriage? Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and that'd be like a cool thing that we would do too. It's like as 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 fast as it's like, well, that's against my religion. Why don't I believe in your religion? Yeah. Ooh, Ooh gotcha. <laughs> Look out for a Ooh, real religion. religion. Coming to You're not more important. A church that's near my, like, you this fall. Uh, led by Jared Every time Taylor. someone says Every time someone says, I'm offended, I go, well, I'm not. And you're not any, any more important than me. So, look, here we are. Boom. And we say, I burn. I say whatever I want. Yeah. Sick burn. And burn. we say, we'll welcome you with arms wide open. <laughs> uh, next up, the Democratic <laughs> primaries. Um, who's in? Who's out? Jared, we're, look, we've been talking show. about this for weeks. Um, we said, show. We said on the show, show fun to numerous watch, times, to say. It will, you will know oh. everything on March 4th. Turns out we knew everything on March 4th. Everyone is now out. So on Evan, the Democratic side, Evan, we, we're just down to Bernie and Biden. Yeah, Evan said last night, mm -hmm. and I think he's right, the Biden-Bernie debate will single-handedly be the most entertaining oh my thing God. in politics oh. in the history Absolutely. of the United States. Glad you brought that up. So that, so that is March 15th. Um, no I, shit. Yes, it's we, that soon? We will all be together. Oh, my gosh. So maybe we can go live here, Jamie, in the studio. Oh, yes. We'll all we be here. We have to. Picture in picture. Yes. yes. Let's fucking rock, baby. Yeah. So March 15th, it'll be Bernie versus Biden. Uh, They're expecting uh, Elizabeth Warren to drop out today. We're not yeah. sure where her support is going yet. I'm assuming it's going to go to Bernie. Please. One would assume, but we don't know yet. Every, okay. Everyone else Trump is going to Biden. was fucking with her yesterday. Again? What did he say? <laughs> <laughs> oh, he tweeted something about how, how she just... she. She wasted uh, yeah. Ohio and all these other places yeah. for Bernie. Yeah, because, for sure. Yeah, it took it took votes away from Bernie, and uh, I just don't understand him. why. Why does the public allow somebody like Elizabeth Warren to even exist when it comes to to being a, a an actual candidate? Like, if you if, is if a you have enough money, liar. Yeah, but if, if like, you have enough money, anyone could do it. Bloomberg yeah, but, bought his but, way but in. Why? Why does the public not just shred her every time she gets up and go, hey, you are a, a, a pandering liar. Like, you lied well, to get ahead. Uh, you lied on forums. You lied on, you know. Are we talking I, I, about the Pocahontas stuff or lying? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Well, look, everybody lies about everything, one, two. If, I lied if, about <laughs> being Mexican for years. Yeah, Jesse lied about being Mexican for close to 30 years of her life. Um what, like one thing is certain after, especially in this primary, if you have enough money, anything is possible. Mm -hmm. uh, Bloomberg, but Super Jesus Tuesday Christ. is what weeds out the people that exactly. whether you have money or not. It Super Tuesday is where it all falls off. Bloomberg but you can run up until spent then. Six hundred million dollars to That's lose on, on one night. One night he's out of the he race. Blew, he blew. Yeah, he just blew six hundred million. Oh, dude, fucking, it didn't even make up everything he wanted to change as president. He could have with the money he spent to run for president. That's the irony of all of this. So with Elizabeth Warren and, oh, and Tom Steyer and uh, fucking Bloomberg and all these guys, if you have enough money and there's people behind you, you can run. Whether or not you're going to do anything is another story. Um, you know, and I think the people that were, were in it for the right reasons, genuinely, because uh, I think, look, I think Biden's actually in it for the right reasons. I think Bernie is as well. Um, uh, and then I think Klobuchar and probably Pete Buttigieg. The rest of them, though, it was like, what the fuck were you doing in this? Like, what are you doing? What were yeah, you really doing this in is this? Dumb. I, I want to I, I want to charge the court with 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 something right now. OK, Fire justice. Away. We need justice. For justice. Something. Taylor. I, I believe I watched Cabin in the Woods the other night, mm -hmm. and I believe Jesse highly resembles Anna Hutchinson. Anna Hutchinson. Okay, give it a peek. Yes. I need to give a peek. Give it, give it a peek. I'm sure it's somebody. He's. You've said I look like people before that I'm like fuck you, dude. No, what is dude, it? you Anna? you literally Anna could be Anna Hutchinson. Like it was wild. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah, give it a peek, season. I'm like, if I a... if I took your picture I do not and just so. stretch it a little bit, <laughs> like if I just stretched it up, that would be you. Ann Hutchinson. Anna. Is it? I Anna? know, I know. What is it? Anna Hutchinson. Or Hutchison. Hutchison. Not, no, no end. Yeah. Okay, yeah. because if you, now this if gal you go to, is if a you no. go to IMDb. <laughs> If you go to IMDb and just search Cabin in the Woods, That's that it. photo that they use for her IMDb, it okay. could be you. All right. Are you there? Not even close. No. My God. Uh, also, I got it. I got it. Well, I got it. I got it. Yeah. What do we got? What, what do you what, think? What's your thoughts? Oh, I mean, okay. 
Yeah. Look at that. Look at that side look. That looks like Jesse. That's a prof. I mean, that is my profile. Yeah. Wow. Jared, Jared finally got one. Wow, Jared. Jared I mean, finally show, got one. show Ross. I want to see. Thank I want you. your, oh, put your side by side on screen here, Jamie, so that so oh, the God. audience can see this. Jamie, use the use the one where she's looking to the side with the white background, and yeah. she's age appropriate as well. Yes. Yeah. Okay. You, you know, she's she's I mean, twenty six, dude. If she's you an watch, older gal. If you watch Cabin in the Woods, like I kept thinking, I'm like, fuck, man, that is Jesse. Did Jesse <laughs> do it? You did a Cabin in the Woods, did you or no? Uh, no, no, no! I did not do that House movie. House of the Dead. Yeah, yeah. House, House of the, of the Dead. Dead. Sorry, I did not star in that movie. House um, of the Dead. Sorry. Yeah. Um, what is, is well, it up? Is it up? Do you see it, Ross? I, I do. I. It, eh. What do you mean? Uh, it's, it's pretty like close. I, like I said, this is a, if you took Jesse's picture and went like this, yeah, it's pretty close. Yeah. Whatever it is, it's a compliment. It is. Whether it is. I look exactly like now, her or not, this girl's fucking hot. So thank you. That has given me an idea just now. For uh, a new Drink It Bros weekly show that we could do. Which is? And I will get I will get a curly wig and a judge's outfit and a gavel. And then you two have to we have to bring up like like criminal shit and then you have to you have to you have to <laughs> fight for each side and then we we judge. Oh, them. and then you're you're you judge get Jared. Just, you get justice. Yeah, judge Jared. Yeah. So it could be douchebag of the week. It could be a politician, and well, you argue each side. Well, you know and then I'm we, down. Hey, the, 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 the <laughs> next I'm in the to next that. the next news story is this, Jared. This week, uh, Judge Judy has announced her retirement after 25 years on the air. Therefore, yeah, that girl's getting a pay. That's a paycheck. Oh boy, is uh, is that the craziest money of all time she's made? She's oh my god, 25 years of a syndicated show. Oh my god, and it just is going into she plays. She's close it plays to on like three networks. One billion dollars worth of, oh of net worth. God. I mean, and it, she's it is starting, insane. She's starting a new show Correct. as well. Yep. Uh, What's it? A talk show like Ricky? It's Lake? kind of the same thing. I mean, it's in the same vein. It's just in a different um, network. Yeah, different network. So different. She's setting. leaving networks, and it's it's basically like Justice, Justice yeah. Judy, Judge, or Justice whatever. Judy. I, I heard they're we start. Backing up the truck for two hundred million for that deal a, a year. So I think she's great. Cat, uh, she we is could great. Start cat court finally. Yeah. The weird thing is she was on the campaign trail for Bloomberg. Oh, that's oh, right. But I, I guess. But that's, look, billionaires that, stick together. Billionaires huh? only hang out with each other. So. Oh, wouldn't you? Uh, but I would love to see a, a, a Judge Jared TV show. That I mean, would be amazing. Jared, I really, really want to do that yeah. because I need a I, white. I, think it would be I need fun. a white yeah. wig on you. Yep. I'll get the full the judge whole costume, thing. and yeah. I know and you, you two will. have to be you two have to be lawyers, and it's just we do one episode where you're, and it, it could be anything. You're arguing something that you both disagree on, and you oh. argue your case, and we go back those, and forth. Those That's that a list funny is episode. long. That list is long. That list friend. is long. We yeah. are yeah. usually episode, we are usually a house divided, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On yeah. many issues. Yes, yes, and I'm usually right about it. Isn't yeah. that right, J Jared? Yeah. No. Uh, yeah, for the most part. No. <laughs> Love it all. This is going to be a good heads. show. Not this is going to be a good show. Uh, <laughs> I'll get the gavel. Yes. <laughs> Justice <laughs> for Jesse. Sustained. Sustained. <laughs> object. Uh, I object to you, sir. Overruled. Yeah. And yeah, I, I see will how much fun this would be. I will the witness. File a writ of habeas corpus all over you. Yeah, um, speaking of filing a writ of habeas corpus. That means things are unjust, and you're not getting a fair trial. You know where you are getting a fair trial? Ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros. Yeah. 20% off of mattresses plus two free pillows right now. Also, they're giving you half off an adjustable base. No one's doing it Ooh. like ghostbed.com forward slash drinking crazy? bros. I'll be at your house in like three days. I can't wait to yeah. sleep. The, the beauty of it is when I leave my house, I'm sleeping on the same fucking mattress that yours. Yeah, you are. You're on a. You're you're going straight to a king ghost bed. God yep, damn with, it, man. With ducks running all around you. I, I, I'm excited to take a duck with me. I want to see mean, the your ducks house, are in a tub. Jared. We've got a duck tub. You have a duck we'll tub. Make him bring you. You're coming into Austin, so t come up here one evening. Okay. Yeah. Sli we'll slide on up. We'll slide on up. Slide Because you can stay here. There's there's fucking 14 extra bedrooms. Yeah, there I is. I really need to see Jared this. Jared has a fucking... fucking huge house. It's like. What is it, like 15,000 square feet? I mean, it's massive. 10. I don't 10, know. Katie's yeah. head might explode because we've always like, 
we've talked about hanging out way more than we've actually hung out. <laughs> oh no, you would you would finally be introduced to what what she's actually like, and you would you would oh. probably try and fucking bring her with you. Oh really? Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, it's just there. There's a lot of comedy in there. There's a lot of oh, comedy. Oh yeah, and yeah, truth. yeah. I'd all be right. like, can you truth. just be on the show all the time? Yeah. Uh, get, by the way, that is still the episode we've never recorded. Is your wife unfiltered? <laughs> Two hours. Well, I told Let me her, interview her let's, once. I mean, let's calm down. You would I have think to. She's you would going... have to go down a list of of. She would have to approve topics. <laughs> no, 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 no. We're uh, yeah, we're already because in. She the... doesn't want to. She wouldn't want to get cornered in something. Katie Unfiltered would be the greatest show of all time. Are you kidding me? She said, we're having her on the broettes. She said, nothing's off limits. I'm doing oh, a tell-all. I'm naming names, and I'm dragging oh, everyone. Really? Oh, yeah. <laughs> that is not what she said. Oh, yeah. Go talk to her. I'm joking. I'm joking. But wouldn't it be great? It would be great. Uh, ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros is great. Uh, as always, the 36-month no interest program is in effect for these amazing deals. Go to ghostbed.com forward slash drinking bros today. Next up. Jared, you're you're starting to become big on Twitter, man. Um, Twitter, am I? Yes, you are. Yeah, are you liking it? Uh, you, or you're, hating it? I lo- I actually love your comments. When we were watching the Oscars, um, you had a comment. You said Sam Elliott is probably oh. the best <laughs> guy eating no, pussy no, on the planet. No, that was the, uh. the Super Bowl. I said if there was a spokesperson for eating pussy, it would be Sam Elliott. Yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> With that brew? Every time I think of something super fucked up, I just put it on Twitter. And oh, forget beautiful! About it. It's really funny, and I'm I'm actually a huge fan of your your Twitter. I know you just started, but <laughs> I, I I that Sam Elliott one, I was dying. Dude. Oh, I think dying. Twitter is probably <laughs> your best medium. It is, I mean, because he perfect. hates people, and it's great. Twitter right. is your oh, perfect I, I, medium. I go to people's Twitters all the time. That's all I use Twitter for is to like tell them that I hate them. Yeah, and you're yeah. a professional troll, yeah, so it's like it perfect. Is, it is the perfect form for you. Uh, so right now they're testing 24-hour only tweets called fleets. They will disappear after 24 hours. Seems odd to me because you could just screenshot it. Uh, and then the other thing they're adding. You want to you, you know a knockout punch when you're arguing with somebody, specifically on Twitter? What's that? Um, accuse them of having back child support. <laughs> oh, oh, my God. Jared. <laughs> because it's like, because everybody, everybody jumps on like, oh, my God, what a dirtbag. And they're like, what is he talking? I don't even have kids. And by that time, the landslide's done. It's just like, yeah, well, at least I don't know on my child support. Yeah, and it's then if quick, they. It's a quick just banger. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. And then if they say they don't have kids, you're like, exactly. Yeah. Oh, really? That's how you're yeah, acting you're for sure. Because you're a deadbeat dad. Yep, you're a deadbeat <laughs> yeah, dad. Yeah. You don't even you're admit to having kids. You're, you're not even paying. Child oh, support. that's a good See, one. See, I was factual. I was factual. <laughs> yeah, that's a you, good one. You haven't paid child. Like, they can't get out of you it. You should pay some child support. And they're like, I don't even have kids. Like, See, I was still factual. You can't sue me for libel. <laughs> All I for said was libel. maybe, Justice maybe you Jared. should pay child support. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! It's like when someone's trying to tell you they're not crazy. Yeah, you're like, well, yeah. you're yeah. sounding a little crazy. You're sounding a little crazy you're to me. A little, uh, yeah. Uh, the other thing they're adding is uh, stories to the new Twitter, which I- I'm tired of fucking stories. Facebook has it now. Instagram has it now. I mean, it's okay. So, Everybody's I mean, using. Uh, here's here's what I've found. Everybody's just reusing the same content for all of these fucking stories. Mm-hmm. So it's like, dude, I, what am I going to see? Seven different sites of all of your the yeah. same exact I mean, stories. Yeah, that's, that's true. Well, Twitter's quotes. the only one that's like still independently owned. You know what I mean? Like, what is Facebook? Yeah, Facebook, Facebook owns yeah. Instagram, so obviously they're going to. Copy the same medium. Facebook Facebook does things to weaken uh, other things that won't sell to them. Yeah. You know what I mean? So like uh, when Snapchat wouldn't sell to Facebook, they were like, okay, great. Instagram stories. You now have Snapchat on Instagram. Yeah, Guess yeah, what? yeah, yeah, yeah. It fucked, in, it fucked Snapchat up for a Is while. Is that until, what Twitter's doing then? Maybe. Uh, I mean, they're just attempting. No, they're attempting to to keep people on the platform sure. because really Twitter has completely died from regular users. Mm-hmm. It's now just celebrities and fucking yeah. politicians. And trolls, Twitter. Yeah. It's true. Like, yeah. yeah. And bots. Like so. And bots and trolls. <laughs> yeah. But you can't monetize the bots because they know what's going on. So you can't report that to your investors. Um, 
I'll be curious to see how much longer they're around. And my prediction is Jack Dorsey uh, is going to get fired soon from Twitter. Uh, all this, all this shit is too much. Um, look, you're the master of social media. What, what are your thoughts on TikTok? Because now TikTok is seeming to take over. I to me, it's in Jesse. No, we, no, no, no. It's it's empty. Like here's the thing. Like TikTok's a Chinese owned company. Number one. Mm-hmm. Like and. And if you've seen, if you just look at the patterns of, of TikTok, you could kind of make some, some theories, some, some like, like, like when you look at how many random, boring, dumb people have blown up on TikTok, uh-huh. I think somebody finally realized like, oh, what is it that people are after that fucking count? Yep. Mm-hmm. So if we just give that to them. Guess what? Everybody migrates over and they all feel like they're a fucking star. But is there if you look at correlations, you look at some of the videos like because you can look at you go look at a Joe Rogan YouTube video that has two million views. You can you can correlate the number of comments and likes and dislikes to that view count by saying, okay, that that makes sense. Same thing with Instagram. You know, if I have 25,000 views on a video Mm. on Instagram, I have over a hundred comments. It takes about 150 comments to get me into that many feeds to achieve 25, 30,000 views. Mm -hmm. Like start using that, that, that engagement uh, percentage on TikTok, and it doesn't match up, which means, Wow, that's an they're interesting theory. Fake, they're doing fake God, views. God, that would be the greatest and, thing and of all time. The greatest thing because as soon as it, you're like one of our videos was, I guess, like mildly viral, me and Tiffany. Right. And a- after that, we were like hooked, right? Yeah. Because we're like, oh my gosh. Oh my God, we're going to be TikTok fans. Right. You're right, Jared. So I, but I was like, how is that even now, possible? Yeah. Now look at this. Now, now, now take it a step further. You're, you're you're putting the creativity it's already mapped for you you don't have to create from scratch exactly like it's whatever's on trending on you TikTok, just do one you of can them rip yeah. audio you can do so now you don't even have to be mm-hmm. talented yep. or have an idea you just are going to reenact something someone else did yes and you're going to get on the you're, algorithm you're whatever giving, that trend is you're giving influencer and creative tools to people that would never be able to accomplish this in their lives and now they get to feel like a star that's why you're getting mass migration to wow TikTok. this I, my mind is blown oh because i God. actually think you're right on he this is right and somebody right. somebody else yeah. had told us they were like oh you've got to get on Dang. tiktok tiktok so they were like just put one video up right and they were like uh do old town road so you're right. I the first video I signed up for TikTok. It just made one video. That was it. Hashtag Old Town Road when that song was popular, and it was Morgan Freeman uh, singing the words to Old Town Road. Fifteen second video. That was it. It got like forty thousand views. Put up a couple more videos. Zero. Like you're right. I think it might be the first video. No, not the first, but like they just choose. Like it really seems so random. People will be like, Oh my gosh. That one little video that I did went viral, and you're like, "Oh my gosh!" Yeah, and like, I think, yeah. Yeah, but I, think I only had like give eight you a comments break. on it. You're right, Jerry. It'll give you a break, and then it'll 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 you'll upload and upload and upload, uh-huh. and you feel like, "Oh shit!" And then yeah. it'll I, I guarantee it's on a it's on a matrix of just you know a numbered psychology. Oh, psychology I love thing. Like, this okay, idea. If I get you, so if I get true. you for ten videos, that eleventh one though, I'm gonna fucking jump. So I'm then, gonna throw on the home pages like. Uh, so then these so people I mean, that are making then, um these people that are making a shit ton on TikTok what what are what are those analytics are, coming from Are they making a shit ton though or what are they I mean So there's also, people that say they're making millions 100 like 100 the most the highest paid one is making 150,000 a post a, a video on TikTok But but that's but that's all I mean you got to understand this is a most marketing executives and big companies are fucking morons, number one. So they they feel like everybody is in this dive of, especially now, you've got these dinosaurs that are fucking 40 to 50 to 60 years old that are still maintaining these these positions in big brands in sure. the marketing department. And they all, like, what's the fresh yeah, new thing? Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. well, well, I'm going to be the first one to report to the CEO that TikTok's the biggest thing in the young crowd. And we're going to pay a couple influencers. Like oh they're not, they're not measuring yeah. what's coming back. They're trying to attack. They're trying to be the first like 
people in this space and they all they show is that number. Look, I spent $150,000 and I got 10 million impressions. How much would that? They're not going back and looking at how much did that really bring back to the brand? Did it increase sales? Did it increase brand awareness in a certain demographic? Yeah. No, they have none of that data. They're just going, everybody's going off this number that they don't even know is real. So it, it, it's just a landslide of just ignorance of people like, I love like doing it. this. Yeah. I and knew going, oh my it God, too. we did so good. Yeah. We did so I good. I fucking but knew it. Dude. We know, you know, <laughs> us, we're ahead of the game. Like, but that's why we I see kept, things like yeah. this. And we, we developed something, Ross, specifically for TikTok. And it's, it's that song that we haven't shot a music video yet for a nice little drink that we love. We made that so people will, will throw it on TikTok. Really? Yes. That's... That was literally part of our strategy inside that. No shit. And so is, is that what these brands are doing on a, like, are they sitting That's around going, the, all right, the great. Smart, the, smart brands, the smart brands on TikTok are not paying an influencer to do a post. The smart brands on TikTok are creating things that hundreds of thousands of people are going to rip and, and, and make viral. Wow. Mine exploded, by the way, on this one. Well, he's totally right. And what I was saying was um, I knew it. And that's why I was just like, I think it's for little kids. Like, I just want it to stay for little kids. Like, I don't trust it. I don't know what the fuck is going on over there. It doesn't seem right. But at the right. end of the day, too, it's a Chinese app. Like, Exactly. Yeah. So they, I yeah. actually. You can do whatever. If I created an app and I, I, could, I could, you know, 100x, I could just make up a fake view count. And you log in and you have 20,000 views. You feel fucking great, right? Yeah. Oh I, could, I could say there are no comments. You just you just log in. You're like, holy shit, 20,000 people viewed my thing. You're like, ha, 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 this is all I'm going to do now. <laughs> yep. He's absolutely it's right. so true. <laughs> oh, my God. I feel like such an idiot right now. I think Jared cracked the code. He definitely he did. cracked the code. Look, if, China, if China's did. after you, go to expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros today protect your digital butthole uh they're after you kids they're looking for any way that they can get you in this world in particular china so if your face is on on tiktok they're trying to grab your passwords your codes everything off your computer this is a seamless app that runs in the background of every device you have ipads iphones laptops and uh desktop computers it also breaks through the firewalls at work so if you can't watch porn you can now expressvpn.com forward slash drinking bros today will get you where we need to get you uh look man uh next up we got a man who ate his own feces at a bus stop in san francisco today and another man who took a shit inside of a safeway there is actual video of this and residents are now asking for the city to install porta potties on the streets that's the solution. Like, well, how about just like bring the fucking policing back? Yeah, and tell people to stop being fucking animals. Like, they're they're taking this so far. Like, San Francisco is going to be the fucking breaking point for everyone because they're such idiots. The politicians there are such idiots. Fuck Feinstein. Fuck all these idiots. Like, like uh, you're 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 letting your city implode, and then your people are going to turn on you. Yeah, like. Uh, Great. <clears throat> keep it going. Keep it going. It, it's just going to keep getting worse. And here's the here's the weird thing I find about this, right? I mean, these... now California, their their theft is up because they went to the nine hundred and fifty dollar fucking misdemeanor. Now people are just walking in stores and taking things and leaving. Yeah, and they're like, ah, fuck it. Yeah, uh, why not? I mean, until like Walgreens and CVS and Target just start closing everything in California, which is what I would do if I was Target, I'd be like, you know what? Fuck this state. Boom. Close them all. Start closing everything. Like you're not going to you're not going to keep my either that or I would start hiring the mob for security. <laughs> Bring that back up. Dude, you want to write you want to write it. You you've you've fucking made, forced my hand on this now. Now I'm going to have the mob at at Target. And if you steal, you get your hand broken. Like, yeah. And then you could sue the city. Yeah, I mean, look, it, the, the odd thing I find about all this shit is people are taking the time to take these videos, right? And these are the residents of San Francisco. Why not take the time to go to the fucking voting booth and get these assholes out 
who are making these decisions for you. If you're tired of people shitting in your streets and you're posting about it and you want porta potties on every square block of the city now, go fucking vote and get these assholes out of there. That this is what I don't understand because they're they're the ones that are allowing this to happen. So yeah, is exactly. there is there a point in time where everybody just says I'm done with San Francisco? I'm getting the fuck out of here. It it could be. I mean, I I think it it's going to get so bad that yeah, those politicians are going to get shelled out. But I mean. You at this point almost need you need to go in there with the National Guard and just from one side of the city to the other fucking sweep it up. So I, I get everybody out. I agree with this. This is a hot button. And topic, why is though. that not? Why is that not? Le- I don't understand that. Like if you are on city property or county property or com- or or private property, the police are allowed to move you. Yeah. Get out. Take you to the city limits and go. Guess what? There's there's a thousand miles of Joshua tree forest that way. Go find a campsite. It's BLM land. Fuck it. Go fuck up that place. Like yeah, I, but I, I want to go back to what you said about the National Guard because this this was actually asked Trump asked about this um, in particular with Chicago because there were so many you know murders per month on the south side of Chicago. Yeah. He was like, hey man, let's just send in the National Guard, and everyone freaked out of like we don't want military in the streets. Well, if there's a crisis, well. Yeah, you. If if it why gets not? to that point, guess what you need? The National Guard. Yeah, like yeah. I, I don't understand why why that you can't employ that and and make that go forward at this point. Like it, it doesn't make any sense to me. Because uh, look, that no. city's just getting run over and it's a fucking hellhole. At what point is enough enough where you're just like, all right, cool? Because now it's becoming trendy just to post these videos of like, hey man, I saw this homeless guy taking his shit in the street. How amazing yeah. is that? Uh, it's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy to me, man. Uh, next up, uh, a CNN article says Americans are desexualizing Asian men. Come on. Come on. I mean, CNN is the king of just stupid ass fucking headlines. I don't even know what that means. <laughs> like, what? I think okay. so. I, I read this article and I'm trying to go through it to see what they mean. Um, you you follow trends in social media and all that other shit like this this BTS, this Korean pop star shit, K-pop is what they call it, is yeah. dominating the feeds, including America. Because I, I look at American trends only. Um, yeah, people like K-pop. They love K-pop. Why here in America? And is that being controlled by somebody else to get them famous in America? And the reason why I ask this is the desexualizing of, of Asian men, it looks like these K-pop kids. It looks like the kids from yeah. BTS that... They almost look so pretty. They look like women, but kind of not really. Dude, I don't know. I don't know what the play is on that one. Like, <laughs> it's strange, uh, right? I mean, yeah. I mean, I think it's a it's a sub niche. Like, it's an underground. Like, K-pop's not going like main mainstream. Like, you got a couple things that are like, ah, okay, cool. But it's just it's one of those things. Again, like CNN's reaching on that. They're reaching. Because you, you, you have kids. Do, do they listen to any of that music? Like, no, I, I don't know no, anybody. Like, I don't no. know any of the kids I mean, in my, my neighborhood kids, that like, listen to K-pop. Asking Alexandria and, and Bless the Fall. <laughs> yeah, right? But, like, I don't know any kids in my neighborhood or kids that are like, hey, man. Because, look, we take kids out everywhere, you know, on the weekends and parties and all that, all that shit. Never once has a child gotten in my car and said, man, throw on some K-pop. <laughs> so the, tre- the trend of it. <clears throat> doesn't make any sense to me whatsoever. Yeah. And uh and then their look and their personality like th- they they speak English but it's it's weird. It's it's almost like they were watching a television version of it and they don't <laughs> It's the oddest thing to me, but they they kind of look like women. If you if you look at them side by side, and I think this is what the whole de- desexualization of of Asian men is about is like if you look at them side by side it's almost like they're modeling themselves after pretty Asian women a little bit. Oh, so, wow. Yeah, it's strange. It's strange. And now the Asian men in America are like, well, we can't get American girls and blah, 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 blah. And it's like, eh. I, I think the culture that has become big enough, they're just changing their look as far as what their yeah. appearance is. So – I think that has something to do with it, but, uh, (laughs) you know, it goes on to say that they're talking about like, you know, everybody talks about how small Asian dicks are and there's not enough Asians in porn and all that other stuff. It's like, that's not a big subculture for pornography is Asian dudes, you know? No, not really. I mean, speaking of Asian dudes, Mm -hmm. 
Freddie Freddie Wong's in town with us right now. Love Freddie Wong. What are you guys? Oh working my on? God! Last last night he had me rolling, man. We were eating dinner, and he he goes on his you know tirades, and he starts going into this this tirade about. He's like, what the what the what the fuck is with all this impossible meat? Like 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 they they're they're bragging that they were able to make hamburger without using hamburger he's like that's not impossible we already have hamburger he goes why don't you just say we made this hamburger to taste like triceratops that's fucking impossible like <laughs> and who's gonna argue with you who's gonna be able to prove that you don't have a triceratops burger like nobody that's right like <laughs> yeah oh god hey by the way you guys are shooting something with freddie wong uh for is yeah it, is it black rifle we're shooting uh no it's a corridor digital uh skit it's the it's the 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 third to their uh, tactical gun reload series. Okay, and it's really really funny. It's a really good one. I promise you guys are gonna love this. I I'm a huge fan of Freddie Wong. Um, is it just because of your friendship with him that he came out and did this? Uh, it's corridor. Like okay. like Freddie has been the star of this series, so he's part of the corridor like crew. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah. look. He's been one of our favorite guests forever. We've had him on three or four oh, times. He's great. On the show. I mean, last night like. We were him and I have been going back and forth about how uh, how boring billionaires are. Like <laughs> they are, and, it's true. And 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 how we wish, like, if we had Jeff Bezos money, like when when you came over to our house, we'd be like, "You want to see the Matrix 4? And you're like, "There is no Matrix." You're like, "I had a maid." <laughs> Except Neo is Danny DeVito. <laughs> <laughs> so we've been going back and forth of what we like like we were talking yesterday like like I would if I if I was Jeff Bezos I would pay I would pay Brad Pitt 125 million dollars and shoot a 90 minute film of him in just different places of America repeating I love Trump over and over and over again <laughs> and then I would put that to every theater in the United States with a fake trailer of a of a movie with Brad Pitt that doesn't exist and then you just get to see 90 minutes of him in different places of the US saying I love Trump. <laughs> oh my god. That would be great. And and the wild thing about it is is like I, look Hollywood can be bought off. So if you yes, said, if can. you backed up the truck, because like a, a lot of these people don't know, like like Beyonce and all these singers, they'll get bought out for a million dollars to do somebody's 16th birthday over in like Saudi Arabia yeah. and shit. They do it all the fucking time. You can buy out your own movie. Like, dude, Wu, Anybody. Wu-Tang. Good. I mean, Remember Wu-Tang? I mean, they sold that yes, album for yes. $2 million? That's, Only that's one copy? I mean. like, I, would, I would hire Wu-Tang to write me my own album. Ugh. Hey, you want to hear my album? And you have to use my name in every song. The, I, I, I think the price tag would probably be... 30 mil? No. I'd say a million a piece. What is there, 13 yeah, of them? fuck it. Yeah. Yeah, fuck it. If you're a you billionaire, go. why not? Just, yeah, who cares? Jeff Bezos has $162 billion. You know how much fun we could have? Oh, like, God. I would... I would know shit. Yes, I would remake all my favorite movies with me in them and the original cast. I would reshoot the entire library of friends with me as an additional character. <laughs> like the the amount of shit that we would do. Like it, it would be the most hilarious stuff. And like and I would we would buy out a TV channel. I would buy out ABC. Yeah. And then I would hold, I would hold auditions. Anybody in the in the country could come and pitch me a show, and I will green light it and fund it. Ugh. Like, It'd be like the best thing of all time. And then that's all that's going to air on the network is all these shows that these random people pitch me. I'm, oh yeah, that sounds great. Fuck it, go. Yeah, here's thirty mil. <laughs> 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 the most entertaining thing on the planet, like. Man, that would be the best ever. Uh, Jesse had a bounce, by the way. So we had a child emergency she had to pick up. So if you're wondering where, where she popped out to, that was it. But uh, I would, I wish, you're right, the wrong people are, are rich. I, w I wish it was us because we would do fucked up shit like this all day long. We would make, we would make it so fun for the public. Like they would, they, they would, they would be hanging. And that's the thing. There's no billionaire out there that we're all you can easily do it just hanging on the next thing that they do like freddie was talking about he would buy disneyland for a, a year 
Look, the Disneyland's closed. Like Freddie, Freddie, Freddie reserved it for a year. For a he year. doesn't even go. Yeah, yeah. He's gone <laughs> once. Like we can't go to Disneyland. This fucking asshole went once. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and it's true. So I went to. Do you remember the guy who owned Girls Gone Wild, Joe Francis? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He, I, dude, he had a birthday party and he rented out. He bought it out, Six Flags for a day. It was the. It was only like a hundred people. Right? Oh my God! It was the yeah, funnest crazy. shit of all time. Where you were just like, mm. you can. I, I, we went on endless rides. So mm. much so, in fact, like I was sore the next morning because I went on like, that Batman roller coaster fourteen oh times. Oh God! Because you yes. stop and there's nobody <laughs> waiting to get on, and, and they're just You're like, just like uh, you want to go roll again? It. Yeah. So we, we just it. we went fourteen times in a row. It was the greatest fucking thing of all time. He used to do weird shit like that with his money, and it Dude, was awesome. That's what I mean, man. Yeah. You could be. You could be the fucking coolest, like, uh, like the the coolest person on the planet. <laughs> like, I, like I said, like, it, it, just if I had a, if I, if I bought ABC, all the commercials are controlled by me. Yeah. Like, which means most of it's going to be fucked up shit that doesn't exist. Yep. And I'm just entertaining myself. Like you're watching because it's like the fucking Super Bowl in 1997 all over again. Like, oh my god, what what commercial is coming up next? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, that would be the best. Like, and, and if you think that this can't happen, it just did with Bloomberg. Bloomberg bought every ad on the planet, and it didn't fucking matter. All that shit was untrue in his fucking commercials. So yes, you could do this if you had enough yeah, money. It would be amazing. You just would, you can't I, swear I and you so can't talk fun. about abortion is the only thing that. Uh, otherwise, they'll air it. Not ABC on my network. <laughs> on my network. <laughs> fucking, I own it. Plus, I pay off the FCC. Hey, hey, who wants free money? Leave me alone. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, like, you're right, dude. Bezos, so Bezos owns Amazon. He owns Amazon Prime. He could just run the most fucked up movies he wanted. He could do that all day long. Could, uh, no one's ever done a billion dollar movie. What does a billion dollar movie look like? Oof. I don't even. I mean, I mean, you'd have to smash five Titanics into thick. each other. I would. I would like go. I would go fucking Tom Cruise, fucking Gerard Butler, fucking uh, you know everyone. The Rock, like. like Kevin the Hart, Rock, Kevin Hart, and I would put them all against each other, like <laughs> Vin Diesel. <laughs> yeah, all of them are dying, like just horrible, gruesome deaths. Paul, like, <laughs> Paul Walker's hologram. <laughs> like if you paid the if you paid the Paul Walker estate like thirty million dollars, they'd let you do a hologram of Paul Walker in the no, middle of a fuck movie. It. Fuck it, yeah. <laughs> They're like fuck it, whatever. Star Wars were your Lando Calrissian. Oh my god! Yeah, I just I just remake this the four five six of Star Wars with me as Luke, and I'm I'm kind of a brass asshole too. That's lazy, like oh god, like <laughs> uh, that would be the greatest fucking thing of all time. Uh, speaking of the greatest thing of all time, BlackRifleCoffee dot com is the greatest coffee on the planet. Jared, why don't you tell us about it? That ECS, ladies and gentlemen, the crew, Evan and Marty Scovlin and Edwin and Logan just got back from Guatemala doing their rounds at the farmers because at Black Rifle Coffee, Evan's number one uh, mission and pride and joy with the coffee is building the relationships with the farmers, understanding where our coffee comes from, from the start to the finish, um, making sure that all the labor is legit all the the farmers and everything is is legit family owned family oriented all the all these things like like he's he's taking the time and flying to central america to to tour the very farms that we get our beans from to roast and ship to your door um so we have made that a priority uh in our business and it's important to us because we think that's something obviously you should be paying attention to where is this stuff coming from and how is it how is it getting how is it getting there uh you know the ECS Evan has uh, has taken a lot of pride in the exclusive coffee club, um, which is small batches of very rare and 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 like sought after coffees that he really loves, and he develops the roast with them with our coffee team and stuff like that. So the most recent one was a scapegoat, sold out in two days, uh, and then we have a, a few others about to launch in the next couple months. Uh, additionally, I have my own. Uh, landing page and store launching on blackriflecoffee.com, which will be blackriflecoffee.com backslash JT, uh, where you 
can get a lot of these products you've seen me wearing that you haven't seen on the store. Yes, so the those personal will be available ones. Yeah. On my, yes. So I, uh, I'm, running, I'm running all limited numbers. It'll be first come, first serve. Uh, make sure you check out my Instagram, JT, at JT Article 15. That's where I will be launching all the announcements uh, once that landing page is complete and those products go live. Yeah, and you've got, you, you're, you've got the coolest shit on the planet, and it's uh, again, it's going to be limited. Um, and also, if you're not signed up for the Coffee Club of the Month program, go to BlackRifleCoffee.com, promo code Drinking Bros 20 will get you 20. You save all kinds of money on products you already want to buy, like Leopold Optics. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All your favorite brands are there, dude, and you'll get exclusive emails for those. Uh, we were just talking about movies. I'm going to talk about Ben Affleck. He's been everywhere promoting his new movie, uh, The Way Back, which is him playing an alcoholic basketball coach. Uh, they've got half of it right. So he only had, he only had to study for half of that role, um, the basketball man, coach part. I don't know. I'm, these these guys are fucking boring, man. There's no creativity in Hollywood anymore. None. Like, so that's not a story. That's not a story I have any desire to watch. An alcoholic basketball coach. I don't care. Well, we saw it with like, Hoosiers already, but uh, this is you know I guess he's coaching inner city cares? kids or something. Like, uh, it's it's based on I'm a true like, story. I, I'll check it out. I'm, but the the interesting part about this story is one of the notes that he said, or one of the things that he said in these interviews was he admitted that a director thought he was so bad. In the movie Buffy the Vampire they Slayer, that they, they overdubbed him. They overdubbed his performance. Um, <laughs> that's fucking hilarious. If you're rich enough, you could overdub somebody's performance. This happened to a friend of ours, a friend of the show. He's been on the show. I'm not going to say who it was, but uh, halfway through the movie, they stopped him and they were like, "Hey, man, are you going to do that that voice like the, the entire movie?" And he's like, "Oh yeah, yeah. Well, this is part of the character. You know, the character's from here, and I thought it would be cool." And they were like, "Yeah, man, we don't think this is no. cool." And he was like, oh, well, what do you want me to do? Because we're halfway through shooting this movie. I can't go back and change it now. And they were like, well, I think we can just overdub you. <laughs> and then, so he was like, what? And he goes, yeah, yeah. So just do your normal voice, and then we'll go back and then re record you as your normal voice for the lines that we've already shot for the first half of the movie. And he goes, No. I'm going to continue to do this voice, and I, I believe in this character, and blah, 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 blah. Uh, yeah, that's kind of like, dude, you, it's the director's movie. Come on. Uh, it's sort of, but they should have, somebody should have stopped him more than halfway through yeah, the yeah, that's movie. Yeah, like that's like a, that's a table read note. Like, hey, don't do that. Yeah. So here's the thing. He, he finishes the movie in that voice. Uh, they get to post-production, and they were like, look. We hate this. We want you to ADR your entire performance. And at that point, he had the right to say no. So they brought someone else in to over. Oh, and he wow. was a lead. Like this Affleck thing was like, you know, three or four lines. I mean, I think. Uh, he should have just done it. You know, fuck it. Come on. <laughs> this ego, ego shit, man. It's crazy, right? I don't get it. Yeah. I'm not, I don't, I, I, I couldn't put myself in that because I would just be like, oh, okay. Yeah. Whatever you want, man. Like. Take your take yourself out of some of this ownership, like when it's when it's something that's not yours. Like who cares? Yeah. Like if it's if you're the lead and it's your movie that you wrote and you hired a director, then tell the director to fuck off. But if it's not your movie, you were hired as a lead and he's not really feeling it. You know, maybe it took a little bit for him to be like, ah, you know what? I don't like that. Just respect that and fucking move on. Who cares? You you have other shit to do. I found it hilarious in this because uh, Affleck said he didn't know going into it, so he went into the movie and watched it, and then it was somebody else's voice, and was like, that's really "Wait funny. a minute, Th that's not me. I didn't say that." <laughs> <laughs> that's solid. Um, so that was pretty fucking funny. Uh, next up, a man brought a llama to his sister's wedding in Ohio. This is classic. You. This is something that you would do. You would bring just, a fucking I mean, llama to a wedding. I mean, who cares? That's, that's really not that astonishing. Well, like, the, here was the astonishing part, was they got a tuxedo. Uh, yeah, that's great. Personally yeah. built I mean, if for you're the... Gonna, <laughs> if you're going to bring a llama, like, bring the fucking llama. Yeah, I would, I would definitely do this. Are you kidding? I, I knew exactly that you would say this. Oh, yeah, of course. I'm going to get my llama fitted for a tuxedo. Yeah. If I'm bringing a llama, it's going to be dressed accordingly into the dress code. How do you get a llama to sit for a tuxedo fitting is my question. Maybe they don't have to sit. They just stand and chew. <laughs> Fine. The photos of this are the greatest thing ever. The woman was super, super fucking pissed off 
about it. Oh God, get over it. Uh, but I think your it's, your it's wedding really got national publicity. What are you complaining about? <laughs> I agree, uh, man. This uh, Jamie, let's pop up the picture of this llama. By the way, um, oh, there you go. Yeah. Oh, look at that. You can see how angry she is in this photo. Uh, no. If you're if Poor you're you. <laughs> If you're not subscribed on YouTube to Drinking Bros Podcast, you should be. Uh, now's the point in the show where we get to the Drinking Bro of the Week. Um, look, since I in, know him. Oh, uh, you do? Uh, yeah, he lives in El Paso. Sammy Riv 81? Yeah, Sammy Rivera. He's a firefighter in El Paso. No shit. Uh, awesome, yeah. man. He says, hey, I'd like to nominate Armando Lopez as Drinking Bro of the Week. He was hit by a car at 50 plus miles an hour while working on the scene of an accident today. The car Oof. fled the scene. Uh, Mando, as we know him, is a 20 year firefighter paramedic with the El Paso Fire Department and an ER nurse at Providence Memorial. He's currently in ICU at our trauma center here, and we're hoping he wakes up soon. Mando is a mentor to all of the rookies that come through his station. He stresses great parent care and a strong grasp of firefighting skills and physical fitness. Uh, cheers, man, to Armando. Cheers, man. Uh, yeah, that sucks. Fuck. How do you know Sammy? I've known Sammy for years. No he's shit. He's a firefighter in El Paso. Yeah, like he's really good friends with uh, the news anchor that was in Range 15, Erica Castillo. Oh, shit. I met, her, I, I met him through her. That's yeah. awesome, man. I mean, we've hung out plenty. He was the one that let us... Go down and use the fire department when we hit Chuck Brandon in the face with the with the hose. No uh, way that video. Yeah, oh, it was yeah. so great, yeah. so great. Uh, yeah. Shout out to Sammy Riv eighty one on Instagram. Oh, Sammy, we appreciate it. Uh, Jared, great having you on the news. I will see you in two days, my man. We will be doing shows that- from uh, San Antoine here in a couple days. We shall we shall. For Jared Taylor, Jesse Wiseman, I'm Ross Patterson. This is Drinking Bros Fake News. Good night, everyone. <laughs>